Today we're looking at the Vocalink LS1 light strip. This is a two meter light strip, of course, with extensions available. It's kind of that two meter standard size. It is 550 lumens per meter, so not overly bright. Um, definitely uh, m more dim than the Life X or the Philips Hue. But what is special about this is it supports IP67 outdoor waterproof certification. So you can actually use this outdoors during your spring and summer. You do not want to leave it outdoors during the winter, though, because it is only specced from 0 to 40 degrees Celsius or 32 to 104. It is a Wi-Fi based unit operating in the 2.4 gigahertz, and it supports not only Apple HomeKit, but also Amazon's Madam A, as well as Google Assistant. Let's take a look. So here's the vocal link. It is a nice, um, healthy, kind of firm box. Very clear. It's got voice control, 16 million colors. It is Wi-Fi. There's no doubt about that. And it does support HomeKit, Amazon, as well as Google Home. Right? You can see, um, again, a nice little marketing style box. It is sealed here. So we're going to open that up. And the first thing we see when we open up the box is the QR code for the HomeKit addition right there, right out in the open. Don't even have to look at it, which is kind of nice. Um, of course, inside here, we've got the full ex instructions, which is, you know, it, you, you've got a uh, everything you need to learn about the product if you want to. Uh, personally, I just dive right in. So I assume the instructions are good enough to be able to set it up. But, you know, I always like to see, hey, is it, am I able to do that without having to worry about it? So so you can see that this is a North American or US, but you can also tell that they have kind of thought forward and they could simply replace that with something that works in one of the other power standards globally. Uh, we also have the caps and the glue here. So this is for the cutting. If we choose to, you know, that two meter is too long, um, we could tend to trim it down a little bit, you know, clean things up. Here we have the power button, as well as you can see there, the home kit code is right on the side of the power unit. So we're going to take the transformer, plug it into here. And this kind of gives us a push button that we're going to be able to turn it on manually without even having to worry about whether or not this is connected to Madame A or Google Home or HomeKit or whatever. We can always have that manual, which is nice. We have some 3M double tape here. Um, one of the other things here, just as a networking professional, I enjoy this, the Mac. Mac address is right on the side of it, which is kind of cool. So I'll be able to tell exactly what this is when I'm looking at my, my wireless environment. So pulling this out, you can see this is very, very well packed, right? It's in that, um, that nice kind of, uh, old fashioned movie reel kind of thing going on. So I don't have to worry about it twisting up or anything like that. And incredibly easy to connect these together. Nice little arrows. It makes it really simple. Again, I haven't had to look at the instructions once, which is nice. So we've got this plugged in. Now you can see it is working. You will see the flickering on the screen. I am not seeing that. That's just what happens when you uh, when you video some of these LEDs. So now let's go over and connect this to our network. So we're going to go in. We're going to use the native Apple Wi-Fi to transfer this over. This is that wireless simple configuration thing, um, um, sometimes referred to as the airport setup. And this is going to very simply, we connect to the vocal link using Wi-Fi, and we're going to transfer over our Wi-Fi settings directly over. You don't have to type anything in. Super easy and accessible. Anybody should be able to do this. So now that the accessory has successfully joined to the Wi-Fi, we're going to flip over and um, check this out and add it to the vocal link LinkWise app directly. So here we are on LinkWise, which is the vocal link HomeKit specific application, although you can use this and you actually do need to use this to connect to both Alexa and Google. Um, they have some good tips on trying to configure this to access your network, but of course we've already done that. So we're just going to kind of skip through this and get right to adding the device. So we're going to click on that next button. We're going to scan in the HomeKit code. And this is going to actually add very quickly in that we don't need to really worry about adding the, the Wi-Fi settings and transferring those over in that it's already been done. So there we are. Now we're just going to rename the, the light to something a little more meaningful than LS1. So I'm going to call this um, Vocal Link LS1 Light Strip. And I'm going to put this into my office, which is kind of where I put all the stuff to begin with. Well, I review it and play around with it and figure out what I'm going to do with it.
So there we go. We can see that it's now showing up there. We've got the, the light strip logo there. You can see that it's at 50% right now. And I'm going to be able to play around with it and change it to different colors if I so choose. So I do like the Linkwise app from Vocalink. This is, um, it's kind of like a in, in the middle between the Q or the LifeX that gives you all the bells and whistles in the Sylvania, which really just gives you firmware updates. Uh, firmware update comes with this. Again, love this. You guys know that. Little video magic, so you guys don't have to actually watch that happen. Uh, firmware update successful. Awesome. So now we can kind of go in and play around. You can see we've got I could uh, connect this to the vocal link cloud, which is what's necessary if I want to get this to work with either Madam A or from Amazon, Amazon Echo. We don't say your name out loud. Or uh, from Google Home. I can go in and I can turn this the lights up or down. And again, the, the blinking that you're seeing here, I'm not seeing that. That's just kind of the a, a factor of trying to record these LEDs on video. So again, I can uh, link it to the Vocal Link Cloud. Again, this is for Madam A or for Google Home. If I want to control it through that mechanism, I can, um, of course, some, some additional settings here. Got the serial number, firmware version, all that good stuff. Um, if I want to as well, I can click on that color effect and then pull up the color wheel and I'm going to be able to change the colors to just about you know anything in here. So I can go to green if I want to. Um, I can go down more to kind of a bluish color a little bit, over to a deep blue, over to maybe purple or or red. Right, so I have kind of all my options here. They're they're pretty nice. I have these effects. Again, it's not as um, there's not as many effects as there what's available in the Philips Hue or in the Life X application, but it does give you something just a little more than what's available in Apple HomeKit natively. Right, so it gives you it gives you something. Right which is good. What do you guys think? This is about it, right? It's uh it is a light strip. It is um it's brighter than the Sylvania. It is not as bright as the Philips Hue and definitely not as bright as the Life X, but it is functional um and it is it's it's at a good price. Is this something you guys would consider using in your house? Let me know in the comments below. If I've missed something, if there's questions you guys have, please definitely let me know. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Likes are always appreciated. And if you want to learn how to make your house a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, please, please do check out the video details below.